very beautiful, thankful Thursday morning. Hi, Health Ambassadors! This is Ma'am Makalanda, your guide in exploring the different global health trends, issues, and concerns, and the global health initiatives made to help address these problems. Our most essential learning competencies are, first, discuss the significance of global health initiatives. Second, describe how global health initiatives positively impact people's health in various countries. Third, analyzes the issues in the implementation of global health initiatives. And lastly, recommends ways of adapting global health initiatives to local and national contexts. Let us recap. If you still remember the last topic, last quarter, get your ball pen and paper. Answer activity 1 entitled, Match Me. Identify which law is being described in each item. Choose the correct answer in the box and write it on a sheet of paper. Are you ready? Number 1. Prohibits children from sitting in the front seat of any motor vehicle. Number two, supervises the legal production of cigarettes in the country. Number three, penalizes vehicle drivers who are under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Number four, provides for the regulation of narcotic and other related substances being sold or imported in the country. And lastly, provides assistance in the prevention and control of AIDS. Time's up! Let us check your answers. Here are the answers. Number 1, letter E. Number 2, letter A. Number 3, letter F. Number 4, letter D. And number 5, letter B. Did you got it all? Excellent! Now, let us test your knowledge if you are ready. Let us answer Activity 2, entitled Word Hunt. Look for 10 global health issues and concerns that the World Health Organization and member nations are facing or in other words you're going to look for the, or you're going to write 10 health current issues and concerns in your community you are given 3 minutes in this activity time's up here are the answers 1. malaria 2. water safety 3. Mental health 4. Environment 5. Tobacco 6. Dengue 7. Nutrition 8. AIDS 9. Diseases And lastly, Women's Health Did you got all the correct answers? Well done, students! Today, our topic is about global health, and the sustainable development goals. In the 21st century, public health protection is viewed both as a shared duty and obligation. Thus, people need to understand global issues, concerns, and trends that includes fair access to essential health care and protection against multinational threats which directly or indirectly affect the health and the lives of billions of people worldwide. Let us first unlock the meaning of global health. Ilona Kikbush, in 2006, the Director of Global Health Program of the Graduate Institute of International and Development Studies in Geneva, Switzerland, states, that global health pertains to various health issues, concerns, and trends which go beyond national boundaries 
and call for global initiatives for the promotion and protection of people's health across the world. The United Nations Millennium Declaration signed in September 2000 commits leaders to fight discrimination against women and children, disease, hunger, poverty, illiteracy, and environmental degradation. All of these goals cannot be attained without addressing each and every one. All of them influence, affect, and depend on better global health programs and policies. These are the eight Millennium Development Goals. MDG 1. Eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Developing countries, particularly in Africa and Asia, suffer from extreme poverty and hunger. Poverty and hunger leads to severe malnutrition, which leads to lifelong physical and cognitive damage and affects health. MDG 1. Eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Developing countries, particularly in Africa and Asia, suffer from extreme poverty and hunger. Poverty and hunger leads to severe malnutrition, which leads to lifelong physical and cognitive damage and affects health, well-being, and the economy. Some key suggestions to eradicate poverty and hunger are the following. Education, promoting gender equality, producing more jobs, investing more in agriculture, strengthening nutrition programs for children and infants, and support and protection of developing and vulnerable countries during crisis. MDG number two, achieve universal primary education. Persons, particularly women who are educated, are more likely to seek medical care, especially during pregnancy, ensuring proper nutrition for their family, adopting healthy sanitary practices, and ensuring immunization of children. Here are some ways to achieve universal primary education. Marry and have their own families at a later stage in life. Practice family planning and have fewer children. Seek employment and sustain personal and family needs. MDG number 3. Promote gender equality and empower women. Gender equality means equal representation of men and women. It implies development intervention, promotion of women's political rights and involvement, improve reproductive health programs and policies, education and integrating gender equality in school curriculum. MDG number 4. Reduce child mortality. Programs and policies which help reduce child mortality like improving nutritional intake, health care facilities and infrastructure, and other fields which improve children's lives. This includes immunization programs, assuring the survival and better health of mothers, improving reproductive health programs and policies, and better nutrition programs for infants, children, and mothers. MDG number 5. Improve maternal health. Improve maternal health is not only about mother's health, but also involves the health and wellness of the family. Maternal health also helps eradicate other problems like poverty, gender inequality, decreased workforce, lower birth deaths, and disability of women. Some ways to improve maternal health includes improve and proper nutrition of mothers, teaching the benefits of birth spacing and small family size, educating young boys and girls about the importance of maternal health. 
MDG number 6, Combat HIV, AIDS, Malaria, and Other Diseases. When there is an outbreak or sudden rise in the incidence of a disease, it affects productivity and growth of nations. Ang ways to combat diseases include effective prevention, treatment, and care like improve housing conditions, increase access to anti-malarial medicines, promoting safer sex behavior and preventive education for all, promoting TB screening of HIV or AIDS persons, and promoting the use of insecticide-treated nets to fight mosquito-borne diseases. MDG number 7. Ensure environmental sustainability. Sustainability means meeting our own needs without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs. Investing and supporting sustainable energies like solar, wind, and water energy help support programs and create business opportunities and save remaining non-renewable energy sources. Some of the benefits of a sustainable environment are cleaner air and environment, clean environment-friendly and renewable energy, new and aspiring jobs and business in energy, and increased access to sanitation. And lastly, MDG number 8. Global Partnership for Development The United Nations, World Health Organization, World Bank, and governments work together to make sure there is a fair trade and that heavily indebted countries obtain relief and funds to combat poverty, malnutrition, and funds for education and social projects. Some of the benefits of global partnership are expanded ex internal trade agreements, improve access to affordable medicine, reduce poverty through govern government debt relief grant, and develop information and communication technology infrastructure. In 2015, the Millennium Development Goals has expired, so the leaders come up with a new set of sustainable goals. Let us watch this video. And I want you to answer the following guide questions. First, what is being discussed in the video? Second, why do you think the United Nations come up with the, with the sustainable development goals? Number three, do you think its sustainable goals are highly achievable? Why? Oh, <laughs> 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 
The Sustainable Development Goals are the blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. They address the global challenges we face like poverty, inequality, climate change, environmental degradation, peace, and justice. Otherwise known as Global Goals, these are 17 goals with a target year to be achieved by 2030. These are the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDG 1, No to Poverty. By 2030, eradicate extreme poverty for all people everywhere. MDG 2, Zero Hunger. By 2030, end hunger and ensure access by all people, in particular the poor and the people in vulnerable situations, including infants, to save nutritious and sufficient food all year round. SDG 3, Good Health and Well-Being. By 2030, reduce the global maternal mortality ratio to less than 70% 100,000 lives births. SDG 4 Quality Education By 2030, ensure that all girls and boys complete pre equitable and quality primary and secondary education to relevant and effective learning outcomes. SDG 5 Gender Equality By 2030, and all forms of discrimination against all women and girls everywhere. G6, clean water and sanitation. By 2030, improve water quality by reducing pollution, eliminating dumping, and minimizing release of hazardous chemicals and materials, having the proportion of untreated wastewater and substantially increase recycling and safe use globally. SDG number 7, affordable and clean energy. By 2030, ensure access to affordable, reliable, and modern energy services. SDG 8, decent work and economic growth. By 2030, Sustain per capita economic growth in accordance with national circumstances, in particular at least 7% gross domestic product growth per annum in the least developed countries. SDG 9 Industry Innovation and Infrastructure By 2030, develop quality, reliable, sustainable and resilient infrastructure, including regional and trans-border infrastructure to support economic development and human well-being with a focus on affordable and equitable access for all. SDG 10, Reduce Inequalities. By 2030, progressively achieve sustained income growth of the bottom 40% of the population at a rate higher than the national average. SDG 11, 
sustainable cities and communities. By 2030, ensure access for all to adequate, safe, and affordable housing and basic services and upgrade slums. SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. By 2030, achieve the environmentally sound management of chemicals and always throughout their cycle in accordance with the agreed international frameworks. SDG 13, Climate Action. By 2030, strengthen resilience and adaptive capacity to climate-related hazards and natural disasters in all countries. SDG 14, Light Below Water. By 2030, conserve at least 10% of the coastal and marine areas consistent with national and international law and based on the best available scientific information. SDG 15. Life on land. By 2030, ensure the conservation, restoration, and sustainable use of terrestrial and inland freshwater ecosystems and their services, in particular forests, wetlands, mountains, and drylands, in line with obligations under international agreements. SDG 16. Peace, justice, and strong institutions. By 2030, significantly reduce all forms of violence and related death rates everywhere. And, and lastly, SDG 17, Partnerships for the Goals. By 2030, strengthen domestic resource mobilization, including through international support to developing countries to improve domestic capacity for tax and other revenue collection. For your activity, answer Activity 3 entitled, What If? Predict the global effects of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, if were achieved or not achieved. Copy the table below in a one whole sheet of paper and write your predictions in the columns. Get your ball pen and paper and answer Activity 4. Sum it up. Write only the letter that best corresponds to your answer. Use a one-fourth sheet of paper. Number one. This ensures availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. A. Clean water and sanitation. B. Life on land. C. Life on water. D. Peace and justice. 2. Ensure healthy lives and promote well-being at all ages. A. Clean water and sanitation. B. Good health and well-being. C. No to poverty. D. Sustainable communities. Number 3. Ensure access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable modern energy for all. A affordable and clean energy b quality education c reduce inequalities d zero hunger number four this focuses on urgent action to combat climate change and its impact a climate action b life on land c life on water d peace and justice and lastly, 5. Protects, restore, and promote sustainable use of territorial ecosystems. Sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation, and halt diversity loss. A. Climate action. B. Life on land. C. Life on water and D. Peace and justice. Now, let us check the answers 1 A, 2 B, 3 A, 4 A, and 5 B. 
Thank you for your time. See you in our next exciting health adventure with me, Ma'am Makalanda. Stay safe, healthy, and God bless everyone. Hi students, good morning. Welcome to Health 10, Quarter 3, Week 4. I am Mamleya Y. Makalanda, your Muppet teacher. Our most essential learning competencies at the end of this lesson, you are expected to recommend ways of adapting global health initiatives to local or national content. Today, our topic is about the United Nations Development Program's Quick Wins. The United Nations Development Programs works with different nations and organizations to withstand crises, empower lives, and improve the quality of life for all. One of UNDP's intervention programs to achieve the 8 Millennium Development Goals is called Quick Wins. What do you mean by Quick Wins? Quick wins are actions that can be immediately used within the community or local to produce effective results. Quick wins are designed to bring essential gains in well-being to millions of people. If applied continuously, quick wins could change people's views and beliefs and trigger actions which could lead to helping millions of lives and countries find their right path towards the goals. Here are some examples of UNDP's quick wins. First, no school fees and free access to educational materials and facilities in schools to ensure that all children attend classes. This eliminates poor families' concept that education is only to those who can afford it. Finances can include donor assistance from partnership with private groups. Second, children are provided with free meals and take home rations using locally produced food. Pupils in the elementary schools were given free school meals and take home food rations so that they will be able to get the nutrients that their body needs while growing up. Third, regular deworming for all school children, especially in impoverished areas, to improve health and education. Regular deworming is advised at least once a year because there is a mild chance of parasites getting in our body orally either due to poor hygiene or food outside. Fourth, provision for poor farmers of affordable supplies of school nitrogen and other soil nutrients. Poor farmers are given affordable supplies of soil nutrients so that they may continue their work propagating root crops and vegetables, which is one solution to be able to lessen malnutrition. Fifth, design community nutrition programs for pregnant nursing mothers and children below 5 years of age. This includes breastfeeding, feeding programs, and micronutrient supplements like vitamin A and zinc. Pregnant women and children were given nutrition programs so that they may produce healthy babies and children were given micronutrient supplements such as vitamin A and zinc so that they may be spared from having 
low resistance to diseases. Six. Offer basic skill training of community members in health, farming, technical, vocational, and infrastructure. Our community leaders offers basic skills training so that people will be able to have his livelihood or source of income which can help sustain their basic needs and also to lessen poverty. Free basic health services sponsored by private organizations. Basic health services sponsored by private organizations are done to help our less fortunate brothers and sisters who can't afford to avail of health services because they can't pay the professional fee of a doctor. 8. Distribution of free, effective, and efficient insecticide-treated bed nets to families especially in malaria and dengue endemic areas. The barangay officials as well as the local government officials are also advocates of a dengue-free community. That is why during the rainy season, they, con they constantly remind the public to always clean their backyards and houses so that mosquitoes will not find a home to lay eggs. 9. Expanded access to sexual and reproductive health information and services. This includes family planning information campaign and services. The community health workers in the barangay does, does an information dissemination drive for the public to know what family planning programs is being offered in the health center. They sometimes conduct home visits to explain to married couples the options in family planning and which methods they will prefer to use. 10. Active national and local campaign to reduce violence against women and children. There is a strong campaign in the community to respect the rights and the dignity of each person, regardless of his gender preference, and to treat them equally, and to report cases of domestic violence to women and children. 11. Reform and enforce legislation protecting and empowering women's and children's rights. Our lawmakers has a soft spot to all women and make sure that women has the right to work and can make a difference. 12. Empowering women to play an important role in formulating and monitoring poverty reduction strategies, programs, and policies. More laws has been passed for gender equality for women. Nowadays, women had a voice. They take part in, the, in formulating local laws and their ideas are accepted in the programs and policies which they participated. 14. Allowing government-owned hospitals, health centers, schools, and other social service institutions free access to electricity, water, sanitation, and internet using sustainable and renewable energies like solar panels, wind, and geothermal generators. People showed concern in taking care of of the environment by using the renewable energies like solar panels, wind energy, so that they can make our planet sustainable. And lastly, plant endemic trees at the community level to provide shade, produce watershed protection, windbreak, and timber. People are actively engaged in preserving our environment by replacing the trees that has been cut and to help with the climate change. That's all for today. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Take care. See you in our next exciting health adventures.
and God bless everyone.